Okay, so I am recording. Um, I apologize for the slant this is on, but I'm holding boxes for my new roommates, so I really can't sit down where I normally would. My computer's on, so it's making a lot of noise, so shut the fuck up and let me fucking do this. Welcome to week 64. You're on the Real DVD Watchers, and you actually see this time I actually got the week right. Uh, the, the, the thing that I've chosen to review today is not a movie, it's a TV show, because I've been watching more and more TV lately, and just... As you can see, I really can't get out my DVDs. So, this is something that I saw back in, I want to say 2007. And I saw, I saw this and I thought this was absolutely brilliant television. It was funny, it was offensive, it was wrong in all the right places. It took where rest of development would, would go in like the sense of wrong and just up it. To like the point where you're like, I can't believe you just fucking said that. But nonetheless, it makes for good TV. Uh... I'm going to review the first episode of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. It's called The Gang Gets Racist. Basically, what goes on in this, we meet three basic douchebags. You know, one is self, is self, self-centered. self uh, He's also very vain. The other one is um, very high on himself. He's He just thinks he's badass as fuck. Uh, the other, sorry, Dennis is the, is the egotistical one. Mac is the guy who thinks he's badass. And Charlie is just a crazy fucking drunk who has such emotional problems. It's hilarious. And then we see De- Dennis's sister, uh, Deandra, or Dee, who is very much like, I don't even belong with you guys. I'm going to be a star. Fuck you guys. And so in the first episode, we see that they own a bar in, fi- in Philadelphia. It's called Patty's Pub. And, th- and, they, and they talk about just the most ran- ra- random shit you can ever possibly think of. And then... They're learning that their bar isn't ca- isn't getting enough people, so Deandra brings over this black guy who's in who is in an acting class with her, and <laughs> there's such grateful pause because uh, he because he's like, yeah, I'm gonna get this place jumping, I'm gonna bring so many of my friends in here and just get get, get this place up. And but the thing is, it's like really odd because like because he's like, you know, I was out, I was out there with 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 my brothers one day, and Matt goes, whoa, 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 when you say brothers, do you mean like? your actual brothers or, like, your street brothers? And he's like, I mean, my friends. <laughs> and that's, we, we see that DeAndre's friend is actually gay, and so he gets all of these guys to come to the bar, and then Patty's Club becomes the hottest gay club in Philadelphia. And it's them dealing with that, and also DeAndre finding out that her friend is gay, who she really likes. And it's just, it's so racist and so offensive at times. It's, it's absolutely brilliant. Uh, the show was created by, uh, what the hell, the hell is his name? The hell if I actually knew his name. The guy, the guy, the guy who, play, who, who, play, who plays Matt, I totally for, for forget his name right now. He used to play Ralphie on the Magic School Bus. Um, but nonetheless, though, a- absolute great show, because it pushes the boundaries of where you can, of where you, where you can go with financial TV. And that's what TV should do. It should make you think and also make you really question stuff. This season really doesn't get good until Danny DeVito comes in, but then also it's still really, really, really good. Uh, the, the whole cast is great. Everyone suits their role so well. Charlie, his name, his actual name is, name is Charlie Day. He plays that role of Charlie so well, it's almost frightening to almost a point. Like, he's absolutely fucking nuts, but it's absolutely hilarious. Um... So well, yeah, it's always sunny in, in Philadelphia, the first episode. If I had to give it a rating out of ten, it would definitely get an eight. It really it really highly sets the bar for the first season, and it just keeps on going up, because it is just absolutely great tel- television. Please check it out if you haven't seen it. It's always sunny in Phil- Philadelphia. So that's the so that's the review. Hopefully you guys will watch this. I know it's really rushed, but just I have so much shit to do today. Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed, and Matt is up tomorrow, and I will see you guys in a week's time. Later.